um, I was born in Nairobi in a government house. So I know what it feels and then the kind of attachment uh, you have in these houses that are either government or council houses. Chair, I want to assure the residences, uh, the residents of Nairobi, that what we're doing is truly for their best interest. We we'll walk along with them and we we'll walk along with the, with, the, with the committee and it's very exciting for us. We have no, we cannot have an ulterior intention or motive. Thank you. I was, I was about to quote a Bible verse, but it's okay. I don't think it goes with the standing orders. <laughs> but, uh, Whatever he says, even if he has contempt for us as senators and the people, maybe he will have some respect for God and tell the truth. Okay, thank you very much for your submission, Senator. I believe that yeah. uh, moving forward... Yeah, the standing orders are very clear. These are house of rules. You do not impute improper motive, just as the Senator has done. Okay, Saying there's a... No, well, then you just read your standing orders. I, I, I suggest you, you, you don't... Uh, uh, through words that teach you. Governor, you will not teach me the law. Yeah, let's bring I, the standing orders. I've been here for five years. Yeah, re the let's read orders. the standing orders together. This is not something that we need to pass by. Let, let us see references and, and, to and, and at the point that you want to discuss uh, the character or behavior of any witness, including a governor, you bring a substantive motion. Where? You Which don't send that we're being contemptuous. Um, I, I think we are, we are not here. Exist? Uh, Senator Fona, we are not here to be taught about our studying orders. Correct. We are here to get to know the plight of the people of Nairobi. If we can stick ourselves to that, just that one issue, we are going to move forward in a way that uh, everybody expects us to move forward. Otherwise, I won't entertain any kind of, uh, you know, throwing words at each other at this uh, specific committee where the lives of the people of Nairobi are affected. So, yeah, as, as, is it on the same issue? Yes, on the same issue, Chair. Oh, one or two issues. First of all, Senator Ombo, um, I was never bragging in the House that I was the best Chair. I was rated the best by Mzalendo and other organizations. And I, I take parliamentary work very seriously. Um, and so I just happen not to have been around in those circumstances. Um, as the Senator of Nairobi has said, these leaders are known to me. Um, some we speak to. I respect their time. I don't choose which committee to come to or which one not to come to. You know, and uh, I must correct what the Senator of Nairobi is saying, that we come here on our own interest. Money for counties is not our own interest. It is for the people that we represent. In fact, the work of the Senate is to ensure we are well resourced. And not only was I there for that meeting with the Finance Committee, I was meeting the Public Investments Committee as well um, a week ago or so on uh, audit. Yeah. So it is not about my own interest. He's also said for, on the record that I know he doesn't live in those houses. I don't know where you live. Uh, I'm not sure enough. I, I don't know whether you live there or not. So just for the record. Um, chairman, I've been a chair of committees for 10 years. Um, in the National Assembly, I chaired the first joint committee of both National Assembly and Senate on cohesion and equal opportunities. I've chaired the Committee of Labor. I've chaired the Committee of Security. The place of the Senate, of Parliament, is very well known to me. You are the representatives of the people, and I take it very seriously. Chairman, it happens that there could be scheduling issues, um, and that's why I've apologized and paid, and not just to the committee, to these people, who I respect very much. Um, they are the people who elected me to be senator, they are the people who elected me to be governor, and I will always be available um, for them. And so I think we can, if, if there's anything further on that, Chair, I'll be happy to answer, um, if you want any more um, evidence of that. But I've really pushed for, in fact, if you look at the Hansard, for enhancement, not just of fines, but of the powers of senator. I don't know whether I, you should arrest people, but I think I have encouraged even my colleagues to cooperate with the Senate, with the National Assembly, with Parliament. Um, I remember the former president, Mwai Kibaki. I remember when I, I used to work in the Treasury, when he'd call a minister to State House, and the minister says, no, I've been called to the Parliament. He tells them, please run there first and deal with Parliament, because Parliament represents the sovereignty of the people. So let it go on record that I do recognize and respect uh, the place of uh, Parliament as representative of the people, and that is why I've come with everyone who is required um, on, this, on this matter. Um, though it's not the procedure, uh, Chair, 
um, and, and this is maybe off the record, I think sometimes proper engagement, sometimes even back channeling works. You know, of course, there's official ways of doing it. But why I found what, what Senator Wambu is saying, the examples he gave, the reason we we're able to succeed on that is what we were able also to do, you know, just directly. But I'm very happy to, to come every time you call me and I profusely and deeply apologize to the people of Nairobi for not having come on those two also instances. Okay. Um, so that I can put that uh, this section of a discussion to rest since you have paid the fine and you're here, but it's also good to understand that this matter of these estates in Nairobi came to this committee on 6th June. Public participation is unconstant. But the contractors are on the ground in no, some estates. There's no contractor on any ground. Chair. Which, which estate? Point of order, Chair. Yes. If you proceed like that, we will not do justice to the residents of these estates. Okay. I propose that you go back to uh, the manner in which we had agreed to proceed. Because yes. even, even this question of MOUs, I'm hearing it for the first time. And because Parliament is a house of record, I would want that you insist, Chair, if the governor makes reference to anything, let him table documentation. Because we are not just going to sit here and hear stories of cabinet resolutions. You should be able to share with us. Yes. Cabinet resolutions are reduced to writing. Uh, just so, because the, the, even for me as a senator of Nairobi, I'm hearing this for the first time. Yesterday, there was a scheduled groundbreaking in, uh, in Woodley. How do you do groundbreaking without having signed these MOUs with the residents? The residents are hearing about the MOUs for the first time. Is there, was there a groundbreaking that took place? It was scheduled. I was invited to, I have an invitation for a, a groundbreaking. Why were you writing to me if there was no groundbreaking? There was no groundbreaking. Chair, we, I, I, we wanted to do that, but I said, let me take the residents through. Myself, that is why it happened, Chair. That's why we took them through that process. Up and renewal has been happening. It is not new. If you go to Ngara, if you go to Jivanji, if you go to Pangani, we're doing three estates that are almost being completed. Chair, Ziwani. On the issue of... Uh, Number two, the agreement between uh, the government of Kenya and the government the border, of Israel. Yeah. Do, um, we, do we have uh, Ngatia? Yeah. I wanted to know if he has gotten the email. Yeah, I'm going there uh, uh, because we are on number number two. That uh, about, uh, about emails is number three. Parliament would only have a title if Parliament goes to ask for the ministry to produce it, if it needs a title. But normally, Government scale would just assign this is government land, it is GL, it is not an LR. When you get into these uh, operations, for instance, to do housing or to do a market ETC, then you process through the NLC to actually get that title deed for that land. So in terms of uh, the government records, it shows the ownership of these estates, you know. And I'll give another example. I've, I've given schools title deeds last, uh, last year. Everybody knew the school title is here, I mean, uh, or, or, or this land is for the school. First, we were able to produce it. Then, we start a process to show what was an allocation to the county or to either arm of government for that title then to be produced. So, Chair, these records exist with the, with the ministry in terms of the ownership. So, Governor, just clarify for me. Uh, because uh, I'll suggest you go through the chair oh. once you... Yes, Chairman. Oh, yes. 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 Chairman, just, yeah, just let's get chair. some clarity. Yeah. Because our letter was specific as those titles. I am sure I'm not the only one who had. Does the county government of Nairobi have the titles for Ofafa Jericho, Jericho Lumumba, Ofafa Maringo, and Maringo or not? It's just something that I need clarification on. Let me first of all say the national government or the county government historically never got titles until the evolution of land grabbing came in. If you look at so many survey plans, you will find just a block of land and with letters GL, that is government land. If you look at the very old ones, you will see they have the, the colony. C, coronal, C L. A uh, chair. A point so, of order. In a essence, point order, chair. a point of order, chair. Yes, Senator. Chair, if we proceed this way, we will not get anywhere. And the question is very simple and specific. Does the county 
government. We, we have them or we don't have them. This other story of GL and what, we'll go around circles. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I, I just, we need that answer directly. The estate titles, that one I can say, but the land belongs to the county. It's well known. If you okay. go to Moja today, sir, okay. the land belongs to the county, but now we are issuing titles to the private owners. Okay. So, when I see, wait, wait, Chair, wait, I got you. Chair, let me just ask him a question. This, this response that you... We have been getting public land titled. And as we sit here, we have more than 300 titles being processed in the ministry, including schools, including, including these these estates. Yes. For, forget the schools. Um, estates, yes. Uh, through the chair, kindly. And uh, before you give your intervention, um, you say you have no titles, Governor. You, that, that's one we are in agreement. Yes, you do not have the They're in the process. But if you look at your submission number nine, to explain the circumstances under which a contractor was given approval for redevelopment of New Pomwani, California Estate, and then demolished flat C5 on 27 May at 2 a.m. when the people are sleeping, you say flat C5 is a private property and had an approval to redevelop. You don't have the title, but to call upon anybody who has such an agreement, even the tenants, and we're also going to write to the government of Israel as a committee, so that uh, we can even invite the ambassador here. But uh, that one, so that we can get to understand if there was any agreement and what the agreement entails, because we cannot allege and we cannot uh, uh, just pass it as just a matter of communication, a matter of statement. So I think we are going to uh, put that one down. On the issue number three, this is why we are having a problem with emails, a copy of volume one, two, and three of the report of Urban Renewal Plan for Island. Uh, you're saying you have sent the email um, and Charles is here. Have you received the email? And Chair. is that email they're saying the right one? Maybe they're making a mistake. Chair, up to now I've not received. Uh, the country of Nairobi, no bundles or what? Yeah. Can I send it to you directly? Yeah? Can I forward to you on WhatsApp? Yes, forward. But mostly I wanted to see that email. Yeah. That email Chair. because Chair. We, Chair. We, need, we need to hold you to account that can be produced, on that July when you sent that email. Chair. That will be produced. Chair. Yes. Chair, the email that you need is not the one that you get now. Because when you get it now, what will you even do with it? Yeah. We want to confirm whether whether the email was sent when they said they sent. Yes. The only way of confirming that is for them to resent the email that was sent in July. Yes. If it is resent, it will show you that this has been sent a second time. It was initially sent on the 20th of July. That's what you need. Say, say, you know someone can even make that up. It is very easy. You can do quote, change the date. Chair, we sent the responses. We have no reason not to send Are you the suggesting responses. that's what you're going to do? I'm saying it can be done. We have no reason not to send those responses. I have sent it to you. Chair, those reports are public documents. Yes, but you know the procedure. We sent them. You but asked the us to send on email, we sent on email. The procedure is that the clerk receives them. The clerk prepares the document as he has prepared the files that we have. It's public document so that even the people of these affected estates can have a copy and also help us in scrutinizing the document. So it's not a matter of just receiving. Chair, if you receive the document, it's on PDF. You can search for the word Israel. You will not find it. There's volume one, volume two. So volume where are the three. document? In your WhatsApp. Just now. Yes. <laughs> We emailed it when you asked for If your email server is not working, Chair, you can't blame the county government. No, no, I'm just saying the procedure. We have to look at the procedure of how we, we, receive, uh, how, how we receive these documents. You know, you don't want to water it down as a matter of I have it, you have it, I get it, you get it. Okay. It's a matter of the procedure, how we get these documents and how we process them. Okay, Chair. Chair, I, I really feel like... Uh, uh, I, I am getting, uh, my, my blood is beginning to boil and uh, maybe I might have to recuse myself from these proceedings because of the casual nature 
with which the concerns of the residents of uh, these estates are being treated. We are being now uh, taught how to search for items on uh, PDF documents. Mm. And yet uh, the responsibility was uh, on the county government to provide these documents. In fact, for me, Chair, I would now direct that you, uh, they, they provide to us physical copies of those documents uh, for us to be able to go through them. And uh, in fact, uh, as, as I said, uh, maybe some senators uh, just want to receive documents on their uh, WhatsApp or on their emails for, for purposes of ticking a box that documents were submitted. But I intend to read through those documents to find out uh, this allegation that was being made by the residents. They, I'll sit with them. They'll show me where it is. I don't need to search it. Because these residents have, have actually <laughs> uh, engaged with this issue for years. People are afraid they're going to lose their homes. Well, I have it. They, you, you have minutes for Woodley. Senator Sifona. You have minutes for those participations you, 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 with you, my signature. You, 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 you showed the chair. Allow the governor there. to give uh, his submission. Chair, the processes within the law have all been followed. But there is no abundance. Or you can never meet the people too much. The people of Woodley themselves who came yesterday, and who are, who are very high, I hope they're here, actually. I hope the leadership of uh, Woodley is here. We'll tell you that they were very, very happy that we went over and beyond the steps within the law. We've seen projects all across the country. People's houses being demolished, people being moved. We're not doing that in Nairobi. We're carrying the people along. Yes, it is county land. Yes, the houses are for them. Yes, they will get houses. But in the abundance of, not even of caution, but going beyond the basic requirement. The requirements which have all been met, including through appropriation in the assembly, procurement processes, public participation, we will still do it again and again. In fact, I, th I think the only one that had an issue was Jericho, where when there was participation, there was a bit of, uh, you know, disruption during that participation. But it's happened in all of these estates. It has happened. I have no problem meeting them again. We will do that, Chair. These are my people. These are the people who put us in office. We will do it again. What is important is this. These residents of Nairobi, they want houses. They want decent living. If you look at the state of many of these houses, they are deplorable, Chair. We've done improvements in many. If you go to Huruma, we've painted the houses. We've done improvements in uh, Karyubangi South. But the urban redevelopment gives them an opportunity to get a house and own it, Chair. I don't think any county is offering what we're offering the people of Nairobi. That by virtue of having stayed in our council houses, you will own a house and pay service charge. I, I don't know, Chair. Um, that is what we've passed. We've gone through our processes in the county, the processes in the law. There's no disputed land, Senator Ombo was referring to, and there's no dispute in court. I have not seen any dispute. There are questions about an agreement. I have never seen. The county says there is no such agreement. You have asked for urban renewal plans. We sent them in July. We have resent them today. Chair, what would you like us to do further? As, as we conclude all the way to number nine, so that uh, we would want to hear what you're saying. Yeah. We would really want to hear what you're saying. And, and I, yes. uh, first of all, let's find out. Because it's process to get into the JV, you have to get the special purpose vehicle. In three months, there's nothing that's going to happen. But that statement, you know, um, is a bit dangerous because, you know, we have contractual obligations. If you look at the Public Procurement and Disposal Act, there are still processes that have to continue and, uh, and have timelines. So, Chair, the assurance we give is no one is going to be removed from the house. No construction will start. It was not going to start in any case. Uh, as we speak, um, until we have resolved these issues. But the processes must go on. They're contractual issues. Chair, we can get litigation. We've already awarded contracts. We're going to cost the people of Nairobi more money in compensation. So within that time, Chair, Chair, Chair you have Governor, uh, because I don't want us to go back to this discussion, mm. me and you are saying the same thing. Yeah, so you know, when you say stop, if, con if, when you stop, if, con when you say stop construction in a blanket way as chair. What, what I'm trying to say is, mm -hmm. there will be no evictions. Of course. They can't the be people evictions. will not be removed. Yeah, the contractor will not start. Groundbreaking should also stop until you finish with the people. You're saying three months. I was giving no, you... We will never, we'll never finish with the people. The people are even part of the project implementation committees. Uh, but I am, I am happy with that saying there's no eviction, there's no one who's going to be moved from the houses within that, that, within that time, that was never the plan, Chair. Uh, Chair, there's a, there's a document that I think you should also include in that list of the documents that you've asked for. Uh, there will be need for this committee to be provided with evidence of the 
public participation exercises. Yeah, we'll uh, the over. minutes, the minutes of those uh, exercises and the solutions. Yeah, from from what I've, yeah, I agree. Um, you you can provide that evidence of public participation, it and as you do that, Governor, I was. Uh, Just know how the county has been run before, and the city council, and the manual, and what so whatever we have available. Within our records, we put together in form of okay. statements. Okay, submit them within 14 days, and then we will invite you for the next meeting following within that next week after the 14 days. So so, so I take it that uh, we're in agreement. There's no need for the 30 days. Whatever we get in terms of state or, or fees and receipts, you know, we'll, we'll just put that together Come within in the 14 days. If you can find it before, even this issue, I'm saying 14 days, ah. if you're able to receive it within, you are able to compile it within a day, provide it. Very well. So that members can go through them. And then we can call you for another engagement Thank you, uh, so that we can uh, uh, put this matter to a close. Chair, uh, Chair, I would also appreciate if uh, you also engage the government of Israel to ask for an agreement. Uh, I, I would love to see any agreement that would have existed. We will uh, we're that. being very honest from our side. We, we, will, we will do and that. When I was it, I was looking for that agreement as well. I've looked for it for five years when I was it. Okay. And I've looked for it for one and a half years as governor. I have not found it. I will not find it in 14 days. Please engage with them as well on our behalf. That one, we assure you we will. And we say uh, this committee, of course, uh, is very uh, forthright when it comes to uh, representing the people and when it comes to the petitions. As much as we have support clean and dignified housing, uh, we are going to follow the due processes of the law and any support you'd require from this committee, like that issue of the Israel government, we are going to invite uh, to write to the uh, Israel government through the ambassador. Chair, I want to assure the residences, uh, the residents of Nairobi, that what we're doing is truly for their best interest. We'll walk along with them and we'll walk along with the, with, the, with the committee. And it's very exciting for us that we shall turn our tenants into homeowners. Thank you very much, Chair. Thank you, Governor.